Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph from Style by Steph. I know it's been a minute. Um, there's just not been too much going on in my, in my life, so no real reason to be filming anything. Um, but here I am. And today I am bringing you a few pair of a few pairs of designer sunnies that I've purchased. I've gone through this weird thing during the pandemic where I've had these kind of obsessions with things. Like it started off with wine. I just went crazy and started buying so much wine. And I guess there are obvious reasons around that. But to be honest, I've I've kept most of it. It's not like I'm drinking the wine. I'm just buying it and storing it. And then I moved on from collecting wine to I had this thing with coats, like this obsession with coats. I, I don't know how many coats I purchased, but I like far more than I that I needed. Anyway, a lot of them are beautiful and I'll be able to keep in my collection forever. It's just, it was strange. I moved on from coats to sunny. So everything that I'm showing you today has been purchased in the last few months. So even though my designer sunglasses collection is bigger than what I'm showing you today. These are all recent. So most of these, with the exception of maybe one, you should be able to find relatively easily still. Um, whereas some of my, my other collection, I don't think you'd be able to, to find quite as easily. So yeah, so I moved on to sunglasses and then um, I don't know what it is, but recently I've been back on the, the handbag wagon. So lots of handbags have been coming through through my door. Um, anyhow, I don't know, it's, I'm blaming it on COVID. I've just gone through these little obsessions. Have any of you had obsessions like that? If you have, comment below, I'm, I'm really curious. One other point before I jump into the video is, I've realized that I, I don't love video editing. And so my style of filming tends to be a little bit more vlog style. And that is that is what I enjoy doing. And I realize that, that not all of you appreciate receiving content in that form and that you, you know, some of you are really more um, driven towards the hyper edited content. It's just not my style. And so I apologize in advance if, if that's what you love. I like, I, I have a full time, more than a full time job as it is. And so I, I kind of do this on the side um, as a way to kind of share with, with all of you. So I don't want to be investing tons and tons of time editing video. So also comment below if um, you're like me and you like the kind of more raw vlog style footage um, or if you really do prefer the, the more edited type content. Okay, so I promised you sunglasses. I know I'm gonna get this question, so I just wanna walk you through what I'm wearing today. So this necklace is a beautiful necklace from Noah. Um, it's a choker that has, like a, I guess, a panther head on it. And I purchased this directly from Noah. This is from Second Life Jewels, and this is a gorgeous Chanel coin. So what she, what she does, Second Life Jewels, and I'm imagining she has a team, but she'll take um, old designer shoes, um, cardigans, and she'll remove the buttons or she'll remove any of the the metal detailing and then convert that into a necklace. So you can get Louis Vuitton, Dior, Gucci, um, Chanel. I'm sure she's got more than, than I'm mentioning. But anyway, I will link her website below. Go check her out. Her stuff sells really, really quickly. So if there's something you like, don't wait, pick it up right away. Um, and then finally, this shirt is from 525 America, and I purchased this from Trend Savvy. A lot of the sunglasses that I'm going to be showing you today are actually purchased through Trend Savvy, and I'll include their link below as well. Um, they just have really good prices and sunnies, and they've always got a sale. Like, if you're following any of their collaborators, you tend to be able to pick up a 30%, or I think right now even 40% for uh, certain price tiers. So... It's just always been less expensive for me to do that. So let's jump in with our first pair, which are these beautiful Dior Trente Montagne. Now you've seen these everywhere. I know like they, they have been flooding uh, the market. A lot of the influencers are wearing these, but I happen to love them. And my style with sunglasses in general tends to be oversized. I just find that when you you know, you throw on a, a nice handbag and an oversized pair of sunglasses, you can get away with wearing anything. So I'm thinking joggers, jeans, whatever it is, just elevates the whole look and kind of ties it together. 
Um, and lately I've been investing in accessories more than clothing, just because I have so much clothing um, that I'm trying to step away from that and trying to reuse what I have and then maybe bring it, bring it all together with accessories. So these are the Trente Montagnes as I mentioned. They have the gold um, hardware on them. These are big, like these are, I think I heard um, Claude uh, from Conscience Coupable mentioned that she references these as TV screens and I get it. Like just look at how big these are. But they are so elegant, so gorgeous. Again, I have styled these with joggers and a long coat. And honestly, could have gone to dinner in that outfit. It looked great. So I love these. They're very, very lightweight. Um, they're great if you're sensitive to the sun, as I am. So I happen to really appreciate just the, the size of these lenses. I don't know if it's indicated in the stem. Sometimes they will, yeah, punch on the stem, the size of the lens. It doesn't say, it just says that it's made in Italy. Oh no, they're here. So um, I think it's an 80, is that possible? No, they're 58, um, they're 58 and then 15 here in the, in the nose. So that's the first pair from Dior. I don't know if these will still be, you know, considered trendy in, in a year or two, but I don't care. Like I just, I like what I like and I will continue to wear it for as long as I like it. Moving on from Dior, we have Tom Ford. So Tom Ford, we all love him. He makes amazing everything, but I especially love his sunglasses. So I have two pairs of Tom Fords that I'm gonna show you today. This first pair is called the Beatrix. Yeah. Um, these are very, very classic. These I am sure I'll be able to wear for years and years to come uh, and feel very comfortable about that. These are also made in Italy. They're kind of a gold, um, smoky, vintage kind of gold brown color. And the lens is a light blue. So I'll show you what these look like. So they are transparent. You can see my, my eyes through the lens. How like how great is this with this shirt? It's just, it's absolutely perfect. Um, my tip for you with sunglasses, if you're gonna get a few pairs, try to get a few different colors so that you've got options, especially if you like to go matchy-matchy. Um, what I'm missing in my, my current collection are a pair of white sunglasses. I've never been drawn to white sunglasses and now I'm feeling like maybe this year, is, is that time, now that I've got this crazy obsession with sunglasses, to go ahead and pick up a pair of white ones. So these are gorgeous. I love how oversized they are. They're light on the face. They're not terribly um, great in the sun just because they are a lighter lens. This next pair, I actually was influenced to buy from Hilo Lux. So Janae has been wearing these. If you follow her on Instagram, if you follow her on YouTube, you've seen her style these a million times. And I know a lot of her followers are trying to find these sunglasses because she does she does comment about that all the time. But these are the Tom Ford, as I mentioned earlier, uh, pens. So these are just like major cool girl vibes. I was so lucky to find these. I, I, I just, you know, did a Google search and I found one pair being sold in Canada and I grabbed them and I am completely obsessed. I tend to wear these a little more like styled streetwear. Um, just like they look so good with a pair of chunky boots, um, primarily because to me they give kind of a sporty vibes with the stem on the top. Um, these are also, as you can see, a kind of brown tinted color. They've got the Tom Ford written in the corner. They're very lightweight. They're super nice uh, to wear. If you if you like them, I like. I wish you luck. I hope you can find them. You'll have to go dig in the web and see if you can find a pair. But I think I got these as a, a like actually reasonably priced as well. I believe I got them for under $300. So not only did I score one, probably one of the last pairs available, um, I got them on sale. Now we're moving on to a pair of Saint Laurent's. Uh, these Saint Laurent's are special. They're very, very special to me. I love, not only do I love big lenses, 
but I love anything with a cat eye. I think cat eyes are just so cool. They give a, a vibe that I'm just really, really into. So these, as you can see, have a little bit of a kind of purple marbling in, in the glasses. So you can see in the sun a little bit more than when you're outside of the sun. And these are called the, the Kates or SL214. And wait for it, these are gorgeous. Like, how gorgeous. Super simple stem on the side, but look how nice the, the stem looks like that. Hair tied up, down, it's just, this, these are just beautiful. I am obsessed. I have worn these so much. They're also really lightweight, really nice to wear. And because they're cut a bit like in a cat eye form, you see the eyebrow. And I like when you can see eyebrows when wearing glasses. Love these. These you should still be able to find. These I did get from Trans Savvy and I did get them. Um, I believe at 40% off. I'm not sure they're still on their website, though I'm, I think I saw them recently. So if you're interested, check them out. Okay, now we have a pair of Loewe. Loewe has really been um, like stepping up their game recently um, when it comes to accessories. So sunglasses, obviously we all love the puzzle bag. Um, we, we absolutely love some of their shoes that they've been producing recently and these i again i know this is a little bit of a trend piece but i feel like they'll, they'll age really well and the stems are gorgeous which you'll see on me in a sec so what are these called these are the yeah lw400511 <laughs> you can find them on trend savvy they also have them in a like khaki green which are beautiful and I honestly hesitated between the two but look at this like I'm on a yacht I've got a scarf on my head I'm in a bikini no I'm in some wonderfully magical <laughs> country um just living living the luxe life that's what these sunglasses scream to me they are just so chic and as you can see, the stem on the side is a little bit thicker. We've got the Loewe uh, logo in, kind of embossed in there. Actually, it, there, it's more than embossed. It's, it's like a, a detailing that's on top of it. They are just gorgeous, gorgeous. I love these, so classy. And what Loewe does that others don't do is with their, the pouch, they have a little clip so if you if you're rocking a small handbag as i often am you can just clip these somewhere on your handbag instead of trying to find a way to squeeze them into the bag themselves also from trans savvy you're gonna hear that a lot okay this next pair i got early last year so i think you can still find them you may be able to find them in a bigger um frame than than these these are again real like cool girl vibes a little smaller than my my usual take on sunglasses but like who doesn't love a classic round pair of sunglasses and what brings these up a notch from being too classic is this little detailing here on the top which i'll show you on so what are these called these are the f um, FF0343 slash S. I'm assuming S is for small, could be wrong. But here you go. Love them. You can see the F and the lens, which doesn't bother you at all when you're wearing them, by the way. So if you've looked at these and you've asked yourself if the, the kind of discoloration in the lens for the logo would bother you, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't even see it. Gorgeous. Love these. These are from Fendi. I actually have a few pair of, pairs of Fendi sunglasses. I love their cases. Look at this. Isn't that cute with the little red on it and the magnetic piece on the outside? Last two are from Celine and everyone loves Celine sunglasses. They, like Tom Ford does a great job with, with his sunglasses and his lenses, but Celine, they, 
they're just like they know what they're doing I also feel that way about handbags with Celine so um, let's let's go with this pair first these are more recent to me they're that flat top um, vibe I'm sure we've seen the Kardashians wear these a million times um, these are the CL400921 um, so cool look at this so cool and what I like with this is because they are a little more street looking they look so good when you style them up like when you dress up and you throw these on like think of a nice like think of like a nice flowery dress uh, in the summer and a pair of heels this just makes it all so so interesting so big 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 fan of these um, the stem as you can see are quite wide and these look great with your hair tied up as well big fan not sure these will age terribly well but I'm happy to have them in my collection and as you can see these um, are brown very very nice Trans savvy again friends 40% off last pair um, are more classic look uh, from Celine I'm not sure if these have been around forever or not, but I feel like I've, I've seen them for, for a while. And I know they come in different colors. Also got these from Trans Savvy. These are polarized. So uh, in the water, reflection, light, whatever, they're super uh, good in the sun. These are called the CL4004IN, um, made in Italy as well. And you can always tell they are from Celine if you have the three kind of dots. That is their look that they like to put in the corners of their glasses. Look at these. Aren't these just so classic? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. They also have them in the brown and black where they're kind of half and half. And then they've got the lens doing that. Um, I'm looking for the word in English. It's dégradé in, in, in French where the lens is transitioned. There you go transition they're beautiful too I just didn't have a place in my collection for for that particular color but I honestly hesitated I love these I have nothing else to say but I love these all right that wraps up our video folks comment below let me know which pair were your favorite if you have obsessions like I do um, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content thanks for joining me take care